Hey everybody, I'm Elder Greg, and I want to welcome y'all to Refreshing Lives, Refreshing Kids Church. Better known as RKC. We're located right now at 212 Kale Road. And you can visit us on the website, refreshinglives.org. Our leadership is Bishop Ronald Scott. And Senior Pastor Angela Scott. So won't y'all take some time right now to go gather your family and come join us today. We will have a fun-filled word. It's tailored towards our toddlers and our elementary school kids, but it's for the whole family. So let's tune in and get today's lesson started. Hey, Maya. How you doing? Good. Me too. Hey, girls. Hey, hey Mr. Gabe. It's time for our RKC lesson. Yay! Can someone open us up in prayer? I will. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord, we thank you for this day and for this lesson. I hope everybody learned something. Amen. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Boys and girls, Elder Diane here again with another wonderful lesson from the Word of God. Today, we're going to talk about communication. Communication, hmm, talking, conversation. You know, we human beings have been communicating with one another in various forms, languages, and ways and methods since the beginning of time. We not only communicate or talk to others by using languages, but we also communicate with God. God, yes, our Heavenly Father, the creator of the heavens and the earth. 
So what do you call communication with God? You said it. Prayer. Prayer is important to our lives. Our spiritual life, of course. Just as our friend read the Old Testament in Jeremiah 29, 12 through 13, God used the Old Testament to teach us about himself. And he used Old Testament prophets as his teachers. It was Jeremiah who was telling God's people who were about to go into captivity that they should continue to pray, to continue to have communication with the God of the universe, with their Father. God promised to listen to his people. He promised to give them a hope and a future. But they were going into captivity. Imagine that. So they needed to keep their communication and their connection with God. Boys and girls, God wants us to talk to Him, to communicate with Him as well. This act encourages us, communicating with God, moves our heart close to Him. This is an extremely important part of growing in our faith and building our relationship with God. Our Heavenly Father, through His Son, Jesus, has made it possible that we can speak to the Almighty God, the Heavenly Father who is holy in all things. And He is holy means set apart. And so He has provided the way through Jesus, His Son. The Bible says that we should be devoted to prayer. It says that we ought to always to pray and not to give up. Communication, conversation, talking to God, listening for His reply as we read His Word. The God of the heavens and the earth who created all things, the God who loves us with boundless love, who has given us His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cruel cross for our sins? Yes, He wants to hear from us. Let me share a few important truths from the guidebook, the Bible, and what the Bible has to say about prayer. First of all, let's watch this little video with Grandma and her grand puppets. Grandma! Yes, ladies? We're hungry. Um, I know, it's almost lunchtime. Can I have a piece of bread? A piece of bread? Yeah. Oof. How about a stone? A stone? Come on. What? I want some fish, please. Fish? Yes. How about a snake? No, a snake. Grandma! Ah, uh, fine. Grandma will stop her crafts and we will go get lunch. Yay! Thank you. Boys and girls. I have a question for you. What does the Lord want us to know about prayer? We can find the answer in Matthew 7, 7 through 11. Allow me to read it for you. It says, keep asking and it will be given to you. Keep searching and you will find. Keep knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone, who asks, receives, and the one who searches, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What man among you, if he or if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Hmm. Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? Hmm. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who seek after Him or to those who ask Him? So remember Grandma was asked by her grand puppets 
to give them bread, some fish, and she responded by offering them some crazy things? That's not what God does. God, boys and girls, is a God who hears our prayers and seeks to meet our needs. God wants us to ask for things that we need. He wants us to keep on searching and knocking. This parable is like a picture of how our attitude should be towards prayer and how God's attitude is towards us. It speaks about being consistent, persistent. It speaks about not giving up. It speaks about being devoted to prayer, which is so important in our everyday life. The son asks for a practical need. And the father, being a mere man, and compare that mere man to God, is like evil, okay? But compared to God, how much more will God give us the things that we need? Our Heavenly Father gives us good things that we ask for, seek, search, trust, have faith for, in Him. Because you know what? You know God is all wise. You know He's all loving. You know He's sovereign. That means He knows how to answer in wisdom the things that we ask Him for, ask Him about. So, God knows how to answer our prayers according to His will. But we need to maintain faith in God. That's what the Bible says. No matter what, pray without ceasing, knowing that God cares for us. Okay, my friends, I would like to share this object lesson with you. I have a balloon which would say it would represent God. And then I have a jar, a vase, which represents our lives. Now, I'm going to use the paper and I'm going to ignite it, which could represent our prayers to the Lord. And we have the Holy Spirit, who's in our lives. Okay, the Holy Spirit is in our life. And he is helping us to pray. And the prayers should and does help us to become attached, drawn to God. And you see, the effects of prayer in our lives draw us closer to the Lord. And let's give it a few minutes. That as the prayer is interacting, sometimes the prayer is not answered immediately. Uh, sometimes the Lord says yes, sometimes he says no, sometimes he says wait. But in any effect, God wants us to pray. And guess what happens, boys and girls? The suction, you see the balloon is being sucked into that vase. Let me show a bit more. And now I have it placed on the table. And now lift it up and see what happens. See the, how the prayer connects us to the Lord. And that's why it's so important that we pray. Look at that. I can lift and move with the connection that we have to the Lord through our prayer life. Faith in God. And he wants to use us to do mighty things for him. To move mountains. See? Faith in God. See what prayer can do? Connects us to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Connects us to the God, the creator of heaven and the earth. Prayer. Important. Daily. Let's keep praying, boys and girls. God loves you. Until next time.
Well, I pray that each and every one of you enjoyed your lesson today. And will apply it to your everyday life. Until next time. Please go join us on our website at refreshinglives.org. Where you'll find our lessons there. Look on the sermon and stroll down to the lesson. And pick the one you want to look at. And tell us about your experience. You can email us at kpolins at refreshinglives.org. And like we always say, everybody deserves to live a refreshing life. Till next time, y'all.